If we don't get a new story soon, we'll be finished. I guess that report on the history of sheep wasn't good enough. <sighs> I guess not everyone likes sheep. I have an easy way for you guys to find a good report. You know this guy? I'm pretty sure he isn't supposed to be here. Well, either way, you're coming with me. Where are we? We're on a generic plot-based server. A what? You guys stay put. I'll be right back. What is this? Just a machine that will allow you to see my great-great-great-grandfather. Now, I don't really want to go see any graves. You won't have to. Nah, I'm just gonna warn you. You better not do anything stupid. Where are we? You're in the year 1850. These Chinese immigrants are connecting America from one end to the other, one piece of rail at a time. Here is your story. Report on their lives, and when you're done, I'll teleport you back. Well, I guess we got nothing else to do. It has been a few days since we have arrived here. It's still hard to believe that this is the year 1850, until you realize that these people don't have many of the things that we take for granted in our daily lives today. The men here are being forced to take out an entire mountain to make this railroad system. Today, the system helps transport many goods, but the lives of these people are far from even passable. They have to work day and night with little to no breaks. In just two and a half days, they have already hit what we now consider an entire work week. These men are also forced to work in very dangerous conditions. They have hit a point where they can no longer mine out the cave and will have to blow it up, but they don't have dynamite since it hasn't been invented yet. They use nitroglycerine instead. This chemical, when used the way they are using it, is 13 times more powerful than even gunpowder. Many men have died here, and it breaks our hearts to see it happen. But what can we do? We went against the old man's words and tried to help these people, get them some better living conditions and working conditions, and the higher-ups laughed at us. These men are looked at almost as somewhere between human and animal, and it's disgusting. I hope we won't have to see any other death when they blow up this mountain, since in total, 1,500 workers will die just from explosives and rock slides. But this is only a small portion of the 10,000 which inevitably will die. Here's our news report. Do we get to keep our jobs? Hmm, let's see here. We got Chinese immigrants, we got time travel, teleporting old men, sheep. Yeah. I think you're fired. Nobody's gonna believe this. And even if it was real, this isn't news. It's not the year 1850 anymore. Dang. <laughs>